but we do want to spend some time to talk about Chito Gascon um, and, and uh, his impact, his legacy. I very, uh, from what you could recall, and we know these were very difficult years, especially for the CHR. What was one of the lowest of the lows uh, for, for Chito, but at the same time, what was something that stands out to you as a, a real personal high for him? As a as a uh, as the leader of the CHR. Well, the lowest of the lowest was uh, the CHR defunding. Uh, he 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 was quietly crying at that time. Uh, he felt uh, the burden of the institution. Uh, of course, eight hundred employees uh, depended on him. At the same time, he knew that uh, it is an institution that uh, stood for something uh, bigger than him. Uh, and uh, he felt personally responsible uh, also for the attacks at that time. And uh, it, w it would have been easy for him to back down, uh, especially because some of the attacks against him were really personal and below the belt. But uh, I, saw, I saw him stood, uh, standing his ground. I saw him uh, uh, going, going uh, to work uh, resolute. To, uh, to carry on. And uh, despite those difficulties, he rallied uh, the entire CHR. Uh, he was relentless in pushing us to do our best and to respond to the clamor of the public. Uh, this was one of the most difficult periods of the CHR, uh, but uh, he rose to the challenge. And um, I think one of the highest points of his career was uh, Whenever, uh, whenever we were able to uh, help uh, make a difference uh, in the in the war on drugs, it was it was a very difficult. Uh, it was a very difficult time for the CHR at that time to investigate all of those cases. We were overwhelmed with the rate and scale, but every time we were able to. Um, reach uh, every victim uh, and grant financial assistance uh, and help them, then uh, that, that makes him happy. I do want to go straight also to my question about the institution. Um, particularly, uh, you know, immediately uh, after uh, Chito passed away, uh, it was a personal uh, sadness on my part, but I, 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 I'm also uh, unfortunately, you also immediately think, oh my God, sinong paparit kay Chito? So I, I want to understand just uh, very clinically the process for that, diba? So Chito's term should have, uh, should have ended in May uh, 2022. So may butaw pa yung, yung term niya, what happens in the interim? And then more importantly, in May, uh, does that mean that President Tutete gets to name the next uh, chairperson for the next seven years? Well, Robbie, first we have to remember that the CHR is primarily a collegial body. Hmm. Uh, so right now we still have four commissioners and they're very competent, they're very dynamic, uh, and uh, they're very much committed to the cause of human rights. Uh, they ha uh, we have right now Commissioner Leia Armamento, uh, Armamento who represents uh, the government having come from uh, DOJ. And then we have uh, Commissioner Gwen Pimentel Gana. She came from the legislative and she has a focus on child rights. And then we have uh, Commissioner Totsi, uh, hmm. who is from Libertas and a lawyer himself. Uh, and then Commissioner Karen, who is an insider. And uh, so the co this commission continues to run uh, independently and uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, there are two possibilities. Either the president appoints uh, a new chairperson, uh, and then I uh, or uh, the president chooses to uh, in the next administration rather uh, there will be a new set of commissioners. In in the next administration, you said because I I know there's that dilemma. I've been asking different ano. So on the one hand, kung may matatapos ang ang official term ni Chito Gascon and yung interim hanggang dun lang, no? Uh, but by May, as we all know, we're entering into elections. At the, so there's an election ban on appointments. At the same time, there's a law against midnight appointments uh, prior to the next administration. 
so does that mean that I mean, the bangit nyo, next administration. Hmm. Yun talaga ang sinasabi sa batas, the next administration, or does the, does the president have both legal and political leeway here to be the one to appoint the next uh, chairperson? Well, it's the next uh, administration, uh, Robbie, uh, okay. because uh, as you pointed out, there is a midnight uh, ban on appointments, and uh, there is no vacancy up until May 5th, and therefore, any appointment prior thereto would be void. 